Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Hello! Happy New Year, you guys! Um, I can't believe it's 2022 already, and it's already into 2022, like we've passed the first week already, and that is so wild. But I hope you guys had an amazing New Year and New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve celebration, New Year's Day celebration, if you celebrated it all. I just hung out at home on the couch, and that's much it <laughs> i didn't really do a whole lot i took a lot of naps because this holiday season was crazy and i was so exhausted so anyways it's 2022 it's a new year new makeup same me so i got a few things in at the end of last year that i was wanting to make a video about but i honestly just didn't have the energy to do it because i was so worn out from working the holiday season so um, I wanted to do like a new year, new makeup, but also old makeup because we're still the same people, you know, same makeup. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Did you guys make any new goals for this year? One of my goals this year is to do better on YouTube. Like I feel like I was really slacking a lot the last couple years just because there's so much going on. And honestly, I'm just like so mentally and physically exhausted from just everything. But I really want to focus on doing YouTube because it's so much fun and I love watching YouTube videos and I love making YouTube videos so I really want to be better about it. So if you guys have suggestions on things that you want to see, let me know in the comments. But for now, let's go ahead and do our makeup. So I've already done my moisturizer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows real quick off camera because they take a while to do on camera and I'm just going to be using the same thing I always use anyways. It's it's old it's the same so it's nothing new and exciting so i'll be right back okay so brows are on um i just use the anastasia pencil the brow definer i really like this one i also really like the kosas brow pop pencil those are the only two pencils that i use anymore but on days where i just need something easy to put on i always use the anastasia brow definer just because it's thicker and it's quicker and yeah so now let's go on to foundation something that i've been loving towards the end of last year and this year so far has been the Westman Atelier stick foundation. I use Atelier 1, which I thought I would use like a darker shade, but this shade is plenty dark for me. So I just put it on my face like that. And then at the end of last year, I got the Westman Atelier foundation brush and I've been using that and I'm not really a foundation brush person. I always love beauty blenders. Um, that's just my favorite thing to use. But I really love this brush and I've been using it a lot and it just makes my skin look really nice. I do of course go over it with a beauty blender just because I love the finish with a beauty blender. But I've been really liking this brush and it's super soft for being a synthetic brush. Also, you guys, since it's the new year, I do want to put a little reminder out there. Please wash your brushes. Um, I know sometimes it's annoying to do so, but make sure you're washing them at least, the very least, once a month. You should probably wash them like every week, but at the very least, since you're just using them on yourself, once a month. And since it's the new year, it's probably time to wash them anyways. Okay, so then now that I finished it with the brush, I'm just going to go over with the Beauty Blender. Okay, and then now that the foundation is done, that's honestly been like my favorite foundation to use lately. Like it just makes my skin feel really nice and hydrated and I don't get too oily or anything and since it's been so dry and like grossly windy um it's just been really nice on my skin and then we're gonna go in with some concealer this has been the only one that I've been using lately the beauty blender bounce concealer and this is in the shade 1.4 n and you just need like the smallest amount of this concealer it's really thick so I just use a tiny bit and then I use my beauty blender with this one because it blends out nicer you could definitely use a brush, but I just like the way a Beauty Blender blends out concealer. Okay. 
Okay, so now that concealer is done, it just brightens under the eyes a little bit. I haven't been sleeping as much as I should, so it's a little dark under there. Um, but yeah, now we'll go on to powder. So I'm going to be using the RMS Beauty Tinted Unpowder today because I actually just finished... I haven't finished a product in so long, and I just finished my Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Feathery. Like, I am done. There's nothing, like, there's the tiniest bit around the circles, but I can't get anything else out of here. So, I'm officially done with this, and I'm kind of sad because I have been loving this powder. I was on the test group for when they originally came out with these. I finally finished it since it was released, which has been quite a while. Um, But yeah, I love this powder. It's so good. I can't wait to get another one. But until that one comes in, I'm going to be using the RMS Beauty Tinted Unpowder. I'm in the shade 01. And I would just take a big fluffy brush and I dip it into the powder and then I swirl it around in the lid. And then I just kind of pat it on and like very gently blend it out. I like the Tinted Unpowder because I feel like it gives you just like the tiniest bit of extra coverage. Okay, so now that powder is done, I'm going to go in with my bronzer, and this is my favorite part of my routine right now. So I'm going to be using the Westman Atelier bronzer in the shade Coup de Soleil. This is the lighter of the two shades. This is my new favorite bronzer. It's such a beautiful color, and the packaging is like so special. The only thing is, I want to know like what happens when I'm done with this. I don't know if I'm able to like take the pan out and put in a replacement one. I'm going to be contacting them to see about what I will do once I finish this. I mean, I'm nowhere near done. I literally just bought this. But like I've been thinking about it and I'm like, well, what happens when I run out? Like, do I just put in a new pan? Like, I hope that's the case. I don't want to like buy a whole nother like $75 bronzer when I could just keep this really beautiful like metal compact. So I'll find out and I'll let you guys know, but this has been my new favorite bronzer and I've been loving applying it with the Phytosurgeon Sky Fluff Brush. This is the bigger of the two. It's like super soft and super dense. It's um, synthetic hair, but it feels like so soft on the top. So I'll just dip it in until I like coat the brush on top and then I'll just buff it around. Excuse me, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you, that's very nice. Thank you, Opie. Thank you. Oh, that's my no. Please leave it. Thank you. Oh, interesting. Well, that was Opie. That's my puppy. He's six months old now. Um, he is very crazy, in case you were wondering. And um, I do have a scar on my lip from him when he bit me um, a couple months ago from playing a little too rough. He still plays a little too rough, but I'm super excited because one of my other goals this year is to go to like training classes with him. And a friend of mine, she invited me to the one that she goes to in like a city that's a couple, you know, miles away. So we're going to be going to training classes pretty soon. Not this week, but next week. And I'm so excited to do that and like get him to be less wild. <laughs> uh, puppies are hard, guys. I didn't realize that because I haven't had a puppy in like 20 years, um, but they're hard. I'm so used to having old dogs and old dogs themselves are difficult, but it's a different kind of difficult. Um, it's like hard to teach a puppy how to do stuff. <laughs> Come lay down. That's the Westman Atelier bronzer on. I really like it. It warms up my skin like a perfect amount. And it just feels like so nice to apply on my skin. And it's matte, so there's not like sparkles all over the place if you don't want that. So that's one of the reasons I really like the bronzer. And it just leaves my skin feeling and like looking very soft. So now that that's on, I'm going to apply one of my newer products. It's from last year, but still it's new to me. It's the Tower 28 Beach Please Balm in the shade Magic Hour. I've really been liking this so it's a beautiful cream color and I just take a little bit on my finger and then blend it onto these fingers and then I just apply it it's like such a cute color see 
see isn't that cute I mean it kind of matches my already like flushed cheeks but I think it's just like it's such a cute color and I mean I am missing the warmer weather because it's been very cold here I mean cold to me in California is like below 70 so it's been below 70 um but yeah I really like this color I just think it's super cute so now that that is on, I want to go ahead and work a little bit on my eyes. I wanted to do some eyeshadow today because I really haven't been wearing any eyeshadow at all and I miss putting it on because to me, I just love applying makeup. I just think it's so much fun. So I'm going to be using two products today from Phytosurgeons. They are the Flash Fluorescence Eyeshadows. So I'm going to be using Potent Petal, which is like a cream metallic and then I'm gonna be using fractal freesia on top which is like a glitter and it's amazing and I freaking love this one I love them both but I really love the glitters hold on a second okay had to take a quick puppy potty break um so as I was saying I love these two phytosurgeons um eyeshadows they're actually gonna be coming out with another collection it's called the weathered woods collection and it looks so amazing I don't know when they're coming out with it probably sometime this year they said but I'm so excited for it. It just looks so beautiful. It's like metallic-y and glittery and there's, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. You guys have to go to their page and check it out. It's just, it looks so amazing. And they've also been teasing about um, a like Fenty diamond bomb dupe type of thing. I want that. Oh my God, it looks incredible. So anyways, let's go ahead and apply these ones for now. Um, so like I said, I'm going in with Potent Petal. And I'm just going to use my finger. Um, it's such a pretty color on all eye colors. I just really like this shade. Even though these are like metallic -y, they're like sort of just like a satin, like they, they're just, it's such a unique formula. But I love how easy these are to apply and they're extremely long lasting. They are like, they don't crease or anything. So they're super easy and long lasting. Like what more could you want from an eyeshadow really? apply a little bit more on this one to even it out oh I love that color it's so pretty it really like brings out like the golden tones in my eyes which I really like so the next I'm going in with Fractal Freesia, which is so beautiful. And this is like a beautiful glitter with the same staying power as the other shadows. It's just they're glittery. And yes, that's Obi barking. He's, he's very into demand barking right now. And I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> how to make that not happen. But anyways, look at how beautiful that looks on top. It just gives the most beautiful glitter sheen. And it like really draws the light to your eyes. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. So that's my eyeshadow for the day. Um, and then now, let me go ahead and show you a new product that I got. By the way, if you hear any loud noises, I gave Obi a bone um, just to kind of keep him a little bit quiet. But he's being very loud with it, so... Um, next, now that my eyeshadow is done, I want to go ahead and talk to you about a new year, new product, also from a new brand. So, um, I picked up this from Sephora. I saw it on their website. It's from the new brand called Cali Ray, and it's the Come Hell or High Water Clean Mascara. It says zero smudge, volumizing, curling. It is a tubing mascara, and this new brand, Cali Ray, they are literally brand new. All they have is a mascara, and they have some, um, waterproof liners. But I did see on their Instagram page that they're going to be coming out with a, like a skin tint or foundation type of thing. And then also some type of lip product. So I'll definitely be checking those out. This is by the creator of Urban Decay. Her name's Wendy. And Cali Ray is supposed to be like a clean, cruelty-free, eco-friendly brand. And they are like focused on sustainability, which I think is really cool. 
Um, so they even have a thing on the little box here. It says sexy sustainability. So on here it says everything is upcycled plastic. It's post-consumer recycled papers, cruelty-free, clean formula, like I said. Um, it says this mascara zero smudge and life proof. It's beautiful buildable formula from the first stroke. Volumizes curls and conditions with a dose of argan oil for lush lashes and is an easy roll off removal. Next gen tubular tech stays on until you slip it off. So um, this was, I think, $24 for the large size on Sephora's website. This is what the package looks like. It's actually super cute packaging. I love the like blue into purple. Um, it's really, really cute. So anyways, this is the mascara wand. It is just like a really like standard sized wand. The bristles are smaller, which is nice because it grabs hairs better. Um, and like I said, this is a tubing mascara. I've used this for a couple of weeks now. And it's so funny because I feel like I have good days and bad days with it. Like some days it looks amazing and other days I feel like it looks so clumpy and I don't understand why. Um, I think it's because the formula is a bit on the wet side. So I feel like in a month or so, this mascara is going to be freaking amazing because on its good days, when it's a little bit drier, it looks incredible. But then um, it'll it's like such a wet formula that when I have my bad days with it, it's just like, oh. <laughs> So I do think once this is a once this becomes a little bit more dried out, it's gonna be amazing. Um, it is super easy to take off. You just use your like fingers very gently with water and just like very gently like roll it off. So it's super easy to take off. It's much easier than some of the other TV mascaras I've had. Um, but let's go ahead and put this on so you guys can see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply it. I always like to use a mirror underneath my eyes and then um, swipe up. And I always kind of wiggle the brush, but I feel like applying from underneath really helps because when I'm doing makeup on someone else, I always go from underneath and lashes always turn out looking extra long. I kind of adapted that for myself and I feel like it helps to make my lashes look extra long. So then that is what one coat on my eyelashes looks like. I do already have really long lashes naturally. Um, and then having a tubing mascara just kind of accentuates that, which I really like. It does get a little bit messy. So I'm going to go in and flick that little, little smudge off of there. But um, I like how it looks. See, I'm having like a good day right now with this mascara. But it makes my lashes with one coat look really nice. So let me go ahead and put one coat on the other side. Okay, and then that's one coat on the other side. So see, like it looks really pretty and my lashes look super long. And it looks amazing. Today must be a drier day. <laughs> so let me go in with the second coat. So that's a second coat on this eye and one coat on this eye. I didn't really do like a full second coat because I feel like it has the potential of getting a bit clumpy. Okay, so then there is the two coats of this mascara on. And today is definitely a good day with it. It looks really beautiful. It makes my lashes look super long. So I'll kind of go to the side so you can see. I really like them and they're really nicely separated and like fluttery looking. Um, so yeah, I've really been liking this mascara on its good days. Um, I will say if you wanted to try it, they do have a mini size, which would be good to test out. I think it's like, I don't know, like maybe 12 or $13 on Sephora's website. Um, so I do definitely think it's a good mascara and I really like it. I can't wait for like next month 
to use this mascara for when I know it's going to be a drier formula because I know it'll look amazing. Um, I would just be a little bit cautious when you first get it because it is pretty wet. Um, and it just seems like wetter formulas make it more difficult to really like the mascara. For me, I always like a drier formula. But I will say I do really like this mascara because it's easy to take off and it's on its good days really amazing looking. So I do definitely recommend checking out this mascara if you haven't already. And I really can't wait to see what they come out with because like I said, it's a brand new brand. So I'm definitely interested in checking out that foundation or skin tint, whatever it is that they're coming out with and their lip products. Like, you know, you know, it's going to be good. It's from the creator of Urban Decay. So, and you know, we all loved Urban Decay, the naked palette. So, um, yeah, I really am enjoying this mascara. It's nice to have something fun and new to check out during the new year. So I definitely recommend checking it out. So I actually got in a couple things in PR from Merit Beauty. They were so kind and gifted me a couple of products for the holidays. So during December, their little bag that they send out products in, it was redesigned for the holidays so it's like in this beautiful black velvet and I thought that was so adorable normally with Merit every first purchase they send out a little like makeup bag that their products go in so that it's more sustainable and they don't have to waste packaging because they just send it in this and then you know you can use it as a makeup bag or whatever um, so normally it's in like this really cute rust color corduroy which I love I love that bag and I use it so during December for the holidays they use black velvet and this bag is so adorable I really love it actually and I'm so sad that they don't have it any longer like I wish they would give you like an option to get it if you wanted one um because they are actually really handy useful bags because you can just tie it up and then you know there you go so I thought that was so cute but then I got two products in from them which was so nice the first thing that they sent over was the day glow highlighting balm in the shade cava which is the shade that I don't have and I wanted it the last time they sent me products but they were actually sold out of it then and then um the other product they sent me is like brand new new and it's one of their new shades of the shade slick tinted lip oil and it's in the shade bel air which is basically a clear one i saw that on their website and i was like oh my god clear lip oil i need it so yeah let's go ahead and check out these two products i can't wait to show them to you guys um because i actually really love the other ones that i have of this and so it's nice to have some new shades this is the day glow highlighting balm in the shade cava so i actually already have one of these day glow balms and i have it in the shade bounce which is the slightly darker more rose gold tinted one but this is in the shade cava and it's like more of a champagne pearly kind of color and I actually really like these day glow balms. They're easy to apply. You can just, you know, swipe them onto your skin. You can swipe them onto your hand and blend them out. They're like super easy to use and you can use them, you know, on your collarbones, on your face, wherever. So I'm just going to apply it on my hand. This is how it looks. It's super glowy. Also, if you're, if you hear noises, Obi is right below me being a menace. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and rub it between my fingers and apply it like I did with the cream product. Look at that. Like that's beautiful. This is like perfect for winter, but also spring and summer. I mean, look at that glow. Perf. It's so pretty. Um, I'm gonna just put a little bit more right there on my upper lip and a little bit more down the bridge of my nose and I'll do that little like highlighter on the tip of my nose that's cute okay that looks super beautiful and I'm so glad that I finally have that shade because I love using that shade bounce but this one is so gorgeous too, especially for like the winter. Like look at that beautiful glow. If you didn't want it to be that shiny, you could definitely go in with your beauty blender over the top just to kind of bounce it out a little bit so that it melts into your skin just a bit more. Um, but I like it either way. So it looks beautiful. I'm so excited to finally use this. Thank you so much, Merit, for sending that. The other thing that they sent was the shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Bel Air. And that's what this one looks like right here. These are so handy to keep in your bag and I really like the feeling of these Merit lip oils because they're super, super silky and they feel really nourishing on. Um, I have the shade A Natural, which is a really pretty, like slightly deeper than my natural lip shade. It's a bit more on the like warm tone side, so I don't use it a ton. 
Um, I use it more at night just to like nourish my lips because I feel like the shade's a little dark for me and a little bit too warm for me. So when I saw that they came out with a clear one, I was like, yes, please. Um, so actually, before I put the clear on, let me go ahead and put a little lip liner on. I kind of feel like putting... I bought this Charlotte Tilbury one, but I haven't had a chance to use it yet. So let's use it. So this is in the shade Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. This color is pretty. Mm. So I was going to get Pillow Talk, but I had Pillow Talk before, and I don't know, I just, that, I feel like Pillow Talk color just doesn't really go with my lips very well. So I wanted to get this nude one. I thought it would go with my lip color a bit better. I need, I'm looking at a far mirror, but I need this up close one. Is a really nice lip liner so I'm really glad that I finally got this so like I said this is the shade iconic nude in the lip cheat pencil so now we'll go ahead and use this merit lip oil in the shade Bel Air it's not pretty Ooh, I love that. The thing that I will say, it looks very gold. It's very clear when you put it on. But the reason it looks gold is there is like, I hope you can see it. There's like the faintest, tiniest golden shimmers in here. And that actually reminds me of a long time ago. This had to have been like mid-2000s. Um, maybe it was like 2007 or 8 or so when MAC was like everything MAC cosmetics. Um... I remember going in one time because I would literally go in almost every single day to MAC Cosmetics. I would like hang out with people. My dad would basically drop me off and I would like hang out with the makeup artists in there. And which is obviously why I love makeup. Um, and so one artist that I was friends with in there, um, we were like recreating like a Pamela Anderson look because I think she's gorgeous. And one of the things that he did was he put like a darker lip liner on and then he used um gosh I can't even remember the names which is so sad because I literally used to be able to name off every MAC product off the top of my head he applied a lip liner I don't remember the color of the lip liner then he applied a lipstick called myth which was like a really milky nude beige color which was one that Pamela used I guess a lot and then on top of that he used this lip gloss that looked so similar to this except it was I, I honestly can't remember the name of that one but it was like a green lip gloss with golden sparkle once it went on your lips it wasn't green it was like clear um but the golden shimmer i remember he said specifically that even though it's a golden color it brings light to your lips just like this does where it brings it into the area where the light would hit it gives your lips life and I always thought that was so cool. So when I saw that this had gold shimmer in it, I was like, oh my God, memories, memories. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this. I'm gonna put a little bit more on too because it's just, it's so pretty and it's so like smooth. Like, do you see how fast it glides on? Such a nice feeling. So thank you so much, Merit, for sending me these two products and this cute little bag. I love using these. I actually use my corduroy one whenever I have to bring my makeup with me somewhere. So um, I am so excited to use this one, although, I can already tell that it's gonna get dog hair all over it because it's black and it's velvet like you can already see that it's forming <laughs> so thank you Merit so much for sending me that I'm so excited to continue using these because like look at that and that um I think that's it you guys I think I covered everything that I wanted to talk about today except 
you may have noticed I cut my hair. You maybe haven't noticed because I haven't really been on here much lately, but I cut about like three to four inches off my hair because um, the ends were just, I wasn't thrilled with them. <laughs> I just wanted to cut it off and make it like fresher. And so I'm glad that I have it nice and fresh on the ends. Another goal of mine in this new year is to grow my hair longer again because my hair was like midway down my back, if not a little bit longer at the start of all of this. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to grow my hair a little bit longer. So yeah, um, anyways, that was really random, but I wanted to show off my haircut because I thought it was kind of cute and my little hairstyle. I didn't even purposely do that, but it kind of looks like a heart and I think that's so adorable. So hearts to you guys. <laughs> um, anyways, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this little new year, new makeup, but also same, uh, same makeup look <laughs> let me know what kind of goals you guys have for this year i'd love to know and also if you have any video ideas that you guys would like to see in this new year please let me know down below in the comments if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button because i'd love to have you come hang out with me on this channel and um yeah that's it i hope you guys have a wonderful day a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week and i will see you guys in the next video bye